Okay, so I've made a video on this same topic before called Overpowered Mon House, and this is the second part to it, kind of. So if you want to watch it, go ahead. All right. <clears throat> o P Overpowered Characters beings that are on a different level in their own verse and it's something that makes me happy they got all these different types of powers and are untouchable in most cases but one of my favorite medias to see this in is anime as i love most overpowered anime protagonists like rimaru mob toya kirito and even saitama they got just something special to them like saitama only had to train three years to become the world's strongest man and he needed just one punch to defeat villains and Kirito, who went from 0 to 100 from out of nowhere and was a unkillable god gamer for most of the series. That's overpoweredness, and I love it. But the anime genre you see OP characters a lot more is Isekai. Now, I know people hate Isekai, but it's a personal favorite of mine. And the OPness of most characters is one of the top reasons I watch Isekais. As you can look at examples like that time I reincarnated as a slime. Rimuru literally started off as OP as possible. He got every wish he wanted and got a village and followers instantly. But even characters that are disadvantaged in Isekai are OP. Look at Moonlight Fantasy, where even though he was literally casted away from being the hero due to being ugly and cannot communicate with humans or they will try to kill him. He still had unreasonable amount of strength and tamed two of the most dangerous creatures in the entire world. That's just Isekai at its OP finest. And man, some of these things that these characters could pull off are just insane. Like most of these Isekais or just OP characters have instantaneous world ending strength, especially the gag ones. Take for instance Kuso Psyche from the disastrous life of Psyche K. He's a psychic who wants to be a normal person, but he is far too different and has overwhelming strength. Just look how long his wiki is. He might be slightly overpowered. So you know what he does to blend in with the rest of the world? He changed the hair color genes of everyone in the world just so he and his pink hair could look normal. And personally, I just love that craziness within these animes. The OP-ness of all these characters are just something I enjoy doesn't matter what I read or watch. It's mostly about what I enjoy. Dumb fun. So if you don't like OP characters because they're too much, then that's okay. But if you enjoy or are interested in the craziness and madness within these OP animes and just want to turn your brain off, then hop on board. But thank you all for watching. I enjoyed making this video a lot. I will see you the next time and peace.